Hey, this is Nick, and I've got Kate again from Vin Solutions, and this is going to be an awesome uh, video. We're going to go through um, the activity performance of your sales guys, making sure that they're completing tasks. Um, the second thing that Kate is going to show us is kind of inspecting, not just making sure that obviously they're completing the task and checking that off the list, but also inspecting um, to read and make sure they're answering the questions as well and they're giving a good quality response and not just doing the response and stopping the clock. And then the last thing um, we're going to take a look at is a report that's going to show the autoresponder performance. So once your guys wash your hand of the lead uh, and we let the automated system go, we want to make sure that we get good open rates, good engagement rates, and if not, um, that's something we can circle back with maybe on a monthly or at least quarterly basis with the, the marketing agency and have them assist with us on subject title changes or content changes within the email. So, Kate, again, appreciate the time, appreciate you doing this. Uh, I'll turn it over to you. Sure, of course. So the first place that we'll go is, is right on the manager's dashboard view um, under daily activity on the right-hand side. So you'll notice if you scroll down, um, under activity, you'll see each sales rep, each manager, uh, will be listed below, and it lets you know their each individual activity that they've completed for the day. So the two things that we're going to narrow in on today are the tasks that have been completed and that still need to be completed. So over here on the right-hand side where it says task, this is where you can drill in and see what they still need to complete for the day. So this number 15 under Mary Jane, if you want to see those tasks, you can click on it, it'll open up on the left-hand side. So that way you're always aware of what they need to complete. Now something that's even more important to be aware of are the overdue tasks. So the overdue task, what that is in our system is it's 36 hours or more since they've actually completed that task. So right now we have four on the sales rep that we're looking at. And again, if you want to narrow in and see what customers that they need to call, you can click on it with that two-page system that we have. It'll take you right to it under the overdue task. So as for what's going out for the day, what they've sent so far and how they've replied to their customers, there's, there's several places to go for that. And that's still in this same page. So under the emails, these are emails that they have sent for the day. So if I want to see the nine emails that she sent out, I can click on it. And then over here on the left-hand side, it pulls up uh, everything that she's actually said in that email. So this is just her uh, sales rep in this case with just clicking on that number. But if you want to pull up a whole report of emails, let's say, that have gone out for the day, uh, that's a very easy process. So under the dashboard, when you drop down, you'll notice that there's a component called message log. And when you click on that, it gives you the ability to filter down to specific um, emails that have gone out, emails that have come in, uh, phone calls. Uh, there's several things that we can narrow in by the event type up here at the top. So in this case, we want to see email reply. So this is your sales rep replying back to their customers. And when you click on that, um, I already narrowed down a time frame for you. So the 5th to the 25th. Now, if you want to narrow down by specific user or team, again, you can do that. Once you hit refresh, these are all the emails that have gone out. Um, now, a good trick here is if you want to see if your sales rep is just blowing through emails, you can see the time frames. So if I scroll in here on, let's say, let's see Christina and hit refresh. Now there, these are emails that are gone out from just her. Oh, looks like we don't have any on her. From Mary Jane. So, Mary Jane. We she need would, Mary Jane. Yeah, there she is. We can find her. She's up. There, there you she go. is. Yep. All right, so here's Mary Jane. Once we hit refresh, it's very slow for me today. That's okay. Hopefully Mary Jane has been busy and that's why. Yes. <laughs> Looks like we don't have a ton for her, but we are going to go back even further. That's okay. Sam. Sorry about that, guys. That's okay. All right. So Sam is an internet manager at the store. Um, looks like Mary Jane's just doing mostly phone calls. So here they are. You can see the time frames. So if you're seeing 231, 232, 234, 
back to back to back, you know that he's really just very quickly sending emails and not really typing out a lot, right? Um, so we will give you the time frames. If you want to drill into any of these emails and read them, just by clicking on the customer's name, pulling them up on the right-hand side, and again, all the uh, notes of history and emails will be here on the right-hand side. That's awesome. All right, so we got, we've got we've inspected the task. We've kind of checked to make sure that the content they're not just tasked to do um, is, is good quality information. So once... Uh, you know the process is turned over to the autoresponders. How do we how do we inspect that? How do we make sure that you know we're still getting decent open rates or engagement rates from you know the next 30, 60, 90 days of messaging that's going out to those unsold leads? Sure. Well, um, at, for each individual sales rep, when their customers read the emails, they will always get alerted. Uh, so you'll you'll know right away if the customers read the email. But actually seeing the performance of um, each template that you have going out, let's say on some automated emails, you can see that as well, which is a, just a management um, portion that they can obviously see this. But when you click into the reports and go into CRM, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, um, we have a couple different sections under email templates, email subject performance and email template performance. So if you click on either one of these, It'll pull up on the left-hand side, and you can see out of each template, ones that have been sent, read, replied, and clicked on. So this lets you know exactly what emails are, are working. Maybe you want to make some adjustments uh, on those email templates, uh, so that way you know what's working for the store and what's not. That's great. And so maybe you know the, the best practice would be to create some benchmarks and see, you know, as you change them, if they exceed or um, don't hit those benchmarks, maybe we need to change change up the messaging, change up the subject line. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it. This was really good information. Again, Kate, uh, you are the best. Um, thanks so much for your time.